Mitch Hill, it's his third start of the year. He had one really good one, six shutout innings here against San Francisco. Then in San Francisco last Saturday, not quite as smooth. They allowed three runs over four innings. A fastball is popped up in front of that Diamondbacks dugout. Cody Bellinger puts an end to the Diamondbacks first. The former Thunderbird of Ukaipa High School, Taiwan Walker, gave up three runs in his first inning of the season, which was against the Dodgers, but in 10 innings since, just one run. The Dodgers shortstop takes a strike. Chris Taylor gets thrown out. That was really interesting. It's almost as if Taylor thought that it had been fouled off and pulled up on a 1 2. He's behind it, and the inning is over. Quig leading off the second and hitting a line drive towards the left field corner for a base hit. Peralta cuts it off. Quig's on his way to second, hustling his way with the leadoff double. 3 2. Peterson pulls a hard bouncing ball base hit into right center. It brings home Puig and gives the Dodgers the lead in the second. Long time getting to that sign for Walker, but not a long time for Jock Peterson to get the head of the bat on this one. And Walker to Taylor with a 1-2. Outside corner for strike three. Four pitch walk to Peralta keeps this inning alive. Breaking ball driven towards right center field. Long way to go for Puig who won't get there. It's up against the wall. Marte stops it second with a game tying double. And the two out walk bites Rich Hill here. It seems like walks all year have really burned the Dodger pitching. Unloads on this one towards the foul pole. It is gone. A majestic two run home run for Paul Goldschmidt has given the Diamondbacks the lead. Play and Paul Goldschmidt started twice but caught up and got all of that one. Opposite field base hit. Puig trying to cut it off. Owings rounds hard, headed for second. Puig's throw, not in time. In there ahead of the throw from Puig with a leadoff double. Hill's second walk. Two on with one out. Marrero sends a ball to deep left center field. Peterson and Taylor converging, and it's gone. Devin Marrero just now knows that it goes out. I don't think anybody saw it. It disappears over the fence, and the Diamondbacks have busted it open. That's one of the slowest home run trots I think I've ever seen, but it's Avila's fault. It's going slow in front of him. Well, they had some confusion. The umpire's coming together here to see if he crossed Avila at first. I don't think that at any point it is reviewable. And they do wow. come out. So New York must have had a completely different angle than we had. Now I believe two runs will still score, but Marrero will be called out as the second out of the inning. Yanks this one through for his third hit of the night. Drive to deep left field. A.J. Pollock joins the home run party. A two run smash, and it's 7 1. A 
Rich Hill's fastball last year was hit at about a 179 clip, and it was always that high and away fastball to righties, the same window as the breaking ball. But Arizona's doing a nice job on the outer half of the plate, the right handers. Puig punches one by the ball. He's headed for second. He's got his second double of the night. Lefty on lefty, McFarland to Peterson. Swatted right at the defense. Can't hit it a whole lot harder. Ahmed was waiting. The frustration spilling over. Wilmer Font into the game, trying to keep it right here at 7 1. Unloads again. A.J. Pollock's second home run of the night. Diamondbacks lead it 8 1. This is a breaking ball that just kind of backs up. Powerful swing right there. Alex has said before that Tommy was pretty much part of the family growing up. He hits a high fly ball to right field that sends Tweed back to the wall and gone. The Villa's first of the season makes it 9 1. <laughs> Wilmer Font throws a low end fastball, which, with a lot of left hand hitters, is a sweet spot if you don't get it under the swing. Jorge De La Rosa to pitch the ninth inning. Jack Peterson coming to the plate against him. Dribbled back to the mound. De La Rosa throws Barnes out, and that is 11 in a row that the Diamondbacks have taken over the Dodgers going back to last season. And they extend their own franchise record by starting out here in the first 14 games by winning 11 of them. Try to avoid the sweep tomorrow with Clayton Kershaw against Zach Godley.